Hello, my name is Gabe, and welcome to After the Bell. Nowadays, it seems like anyone can be a musician. Everybody, I don't have to talk about now. Let the chemicals do its stuff. Well, maybe not anyone, but certainly some people. I sat down with Northampton High School's very own Tommy Hart, an actual real life musician, to discuss his experience as a young unsigned artist. When I started, you know, I wasn't making any money, so I was just, I had a computer and I had an audio interface and I just tried to make it work without having to go to a professional. I just like mess around with a lot of different things. So I've got like, I'm working on a metal album right now. But I'm also working on a pop album and I've also got like pop punk songs and all different types of material that I'm, I'm always working on because I'm inspired by lots of different kinds of music. I, I do not like putting myself in a box creatively at all. Um, I think it was Ice-T that said, I feel really bad for anyone who listens to just one kind of music, you know? And I listen to 90s rap and melodic death metal and, you know, indie rock and stuff. So it's just, I'm getting inspiration from all over the place. So I don't see why I should keep all the stuff I'm doing in one box. There's like so many streaming, or not streaming, like distribution platforms that you can go on. And so I use DistroKid, which is $20. You release any music you want within that year, $20 a year. Um, and it's really easy if you know how to go about it, but I think a lot of people just don't know how to go about it and haven't like reached out and found, um, you know, the different places you can get that done. I definitely want to pursue it as a career in some capacity, um, whether that's being a musician or a producer or promote, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely something that I work very hard at and I'm very passionate about. So I think I definitely want to pursue it in my later life, yeah. Talk about a guy who really does it all. I'll see you guys next week after the bell.